I was working with a client the other day and we came across a few challenges with the simple DIY setup that I'm a proponent of for thought leadership style videos. So I thought it would be helpful to share the different challenges that can come with a DIY setup in contrast to the larger productions I typically work on. First off, DIY requires more trial and error. In a professional production environment, you have a lot more tools at your disposal to adjust the settings and lighting conditions because you often have larger lights and more of them, for example. However, when filming with a ring light, you typically will need to rely on natural lights or overhead lighting in the space to help fill in what your ring light doesn't illuminate. So you have to experiment and have time to see what works given the space you're dealing with. Secondly, when filming on a smartphone, you need to be aware of the limitations of your phone's battery life and storage space. Unlike with a professional camera, you won't be easily able to swap out a battery pack. Because when filming with an external mic that's plugged into your phone, that means you can only charge your phone when you're not filming. Planning for this is key, so you don't try to bite off more than your camera can handle in one filming session or at least factor in time to offload content from your phone to your computer. Lastly, you'll wanna be aware of your other phone related matters, such as email notification pop-ups or phone calls coming in while filming, which can be a distraction and possibly make you lose your concentration in the middle of a take. Ideally, you turn these things off under the notification settings, or you can put your phone in airplane mode. While filming on a phone has its own challenges, the clear advantage is in its ability to create content whenever you're inspired, as well as on a consistent basis, which is key. So I do believe the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. And the moral of the story is be prepared, know the limitations and try your best to avoid what you can. At the end of the day, just make sure you're creating killer content and the results will be worth the learning curve every time. If you're interested in getting started creating your own thought leadership content, please reach out, I'd love to assist you.